Hello and welcome to my channel. So I thought of creating a new playlist which will uh, cover all the interview related questions that you can expect uh, based on uh, the domain that you are working on. So here I thought of creating a, a playlist specifically for the AWS related interview questions. So this is for now um, I will be adding up all the interview questions that you can expect as part of your AWS. All right. So I'll be covering based on the services. So I'll start off with the IAM service and then slowly we'll look at the other uh, interview questions that you can expect. So this, this playlist is completely for all the interview related questions uh, that you can expect when you're attending the interview uh, with respect to your AWS. All right. So these questions I'll be covering both your basics, your scenario based and uh, at a little advanced level as well. All right. So you can refer these questions whenever you're trying to uh, attend an interview and this should help you to uh, answer the questions because these are the most commonly asked questions that you can expect when when you're attending an interview so first i'll be starting off with your im service and then post that will we, we, we will move on to the other services so when you talk about your im service now the very one of the very commonly asked question is your uh, what are im users now IAM users can be used when you want to share your AWS accounts with other users. So imagine you have like multiple people uh, in your team and you have an AWS account. Now if you want to share your AWS account with other people, you can make use of your IAM user. So IAM users, these are not separate AWS accounts, all right? So these are basically your users within the same AWS account. And we can make use of these IAM users to share uh, one AWS accounts with multiple users. So whenever you want to share your account with other users, you can make use of your IAM users for that. Now, whenever you create your IAM users, you can define the type of access you want to give to these users. So whether you want to give the console access or you want to give the CLI access, and then based on that, you can share the credentials with the users, and then the users can log in to the same AWS account using the credentials that you have shared. So generally, whenever we talk about creating IAM users, uh, we are basically uh, uh, creating users with the necessary permissions. We are defining the permissions for the user and then we can share the credentials with the users and they can start logging in to the same AWS account. So the whole point of your IAM users is to share the AWS account with other users so that they can log in to your AWS account. So that's one of the common questions that you can expect when we talk about your IAM service.